Hi, everybody. Welcome to another Linfield Coaches Cat Chat. Joe Stewart here with head cross-country coach Mike Blackmore. Coach, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, thanks. Thanks I, for having me on the show. I'm glad you could be here, especially as we are previewing Northwest Conference Championships tomorrow uh, as the team is going up to uh, Hillsboro, as Pacific is going to be hosting that one. And um, let's get into kind of the season as a whole so far to this point. What do you think some of the strengths uh, and maybe some of the, the weaknesses have been for this team as a whole uh, throughout the course of the season? Where, where do you think that uh, the team has been able to do their best uh, running this season? Well, I, I think the strengths are that uh, this team is working t together really well as, as a unit, um, as the team should, um, for t workout days, race, uh, race days. Um, and we're showing a lot, of, uh, a lot of improvement over last year just based on the fact that they figured out how to work together. Yeah. Um, what were a couple of things that you really wanted to focus on coming into the season uh, that maybe that you've seen that progression with, uh, particularly around that kind of that team running style? Yeah. Um, you know, I just uh, I want the kids to respect each other. Um, I want them to invite the freshmen into the into the team as quickly as possible and make them feel like they're part of, part of a unit. Um, and they they've done a really good job of that. Over the last few uh, races of the year, particularly your last one up against Lewis and Clark a couple weeks ago, what have you been able to glean from uh, from those races heading into the postseason? Well, I think one thing I really like, especially on the guy side, is that we've got three guys that have been within two seconds of each other at the finish, uh, 10 seconds and 15 seconds, um, and that really gives us a, a good jump up, up front. Um, you know, there no one's no one's going to win the championship as an individual, but when you got three guys that can work together and score, you know, not very many points, um, that that, get, that gets us going to a, off to a, off to a, a good start each time. Yeah. Um, and then with following up, you know, uh, our four, five, six, seven, eight guys are really 800 meter runners. Um, they're working really hard. You know, I know they're going to have a great, a great track season just based on the fact that they're um, that they're improving um, as distance runners. Um, but you know, the best thing I can ask for them is to work together as well and stay close to each other and uh, just uh, pick off as many people as they can over the last K of the race. How about on the women's side of things? Uh, same thing on the women's side. Um, Jenny and Michaela have been our, our front runners all year long. Um, Kaylee uh, Delzati uh, had, a, had a great summer of uh, training and has really uh, kind of stepped into a uh, focus on her um, athlete side of things here at Linfield. She's an awesome student. Um, and as we all know here at Linfield, sometimes uh, our rigorous studies kind of get in the way of uh, what we want to achieve on um, on the playing field. But she's really uh, she's really telling herself this year to, to be part of uh, of what we're doing as a team, and she's uh, um, doing a great job um, as a as a silent leader to bring everybody behind her along too. That's impressive to hear about, and yeah, it is no small task to be a student athlete at, at Linfield and try and meet the high expectations that we have for our athletes, but also, of course. Uh, meet those expectations in the classroom as well. Who are those workhorses on the men's side that you expect to come out and get up to a, a big start, as you said, uh, that top three? Um, you know, we're, I'm hoping that, uh, um, that Alex, uh, who had a kind of rough summer with some respiratory stuff, um, has rebounded really well um, and will be right there up, up front, uh, as, as, close to, as close to the front as he can. Um, Calvin and uh, Bradley have, have been, you know, right behind him, um, or in some cases, you know, right in front of him. Um, and then uh, I think our, the, the biggest uh, surprise for me has been um, Kai uh, Postak, who really is you know an 800 meter runner, um, and has improved leaps and bounds this, this year as a as a, uh, as a cross country athlete. Sure, and you mentioned Kai, you mentioned Kaylee on the women's side, but uh, yeah, who are some of the runners that maybe uh, you know might not lead the pack this weekend, but as far as their team racing ability goes, could go a long way to helping you guys shave some points. Um, well, on the guy side, it's going to be um, you know Evan Evan Kern doing his thing. Uh, he's getting stronger and stronger each week. Um, Kai has been either again right in front of him or right behind him. Uh, John Christian, uh, one of our one of our seniors, um, uh, has been improving over the season. And uh, you know those three guys and uh, Connor Ruley really can step in as well. Uh, those four guys kind of rotate in and out of, of which one's going to be four, five, six, and seven. And you've got to have you've got to have that when maybe somebody has a you know as a as a as a B as a B race instead of an A race and and uh, they've done a really good job of, of that this year. And same thing on the women's side. Um, three, four, five, and six have rotated. Uh, um, you never know which one's going to be fourth or fifth, and 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 that's great. That means they're all they're all working hard and trying to cover each other. That's good to hear. Uh, one thing that I've always wondered about, you know, I mean. 
cross country it seems like such a mental sport there's such a there's such a strong mental fortitude part of, of, of being a successful runner what is the key for this team to be uh, mentally in the right space and have that edge going in and be locked in uh, tomorrow up in Hillsboro? You know, we're going to talk about a race plan later this afternoon, and um, they've got to buy into that. Um, they've got to buy into each other, and, um, you know, they just got to, they've got to chase their fellow teammates and, uh, again, one by one, pick off somebody in a different color uniform. That's what, that's what we're hoping to see tomorrow, and hopefully the Cats able to make a good push and put some good times together, and then maybe a little trip to regionals in a couple weeks. Yep, we're, we're hoping to take as many kids as we can to, uh, well, as many as we're allowed to, to the region championships. And, um, you know, uh, if, we, if we run well, hopefully we'll, we'll take a good group. Once again, that's the Wildcats in the Northwest Conference Cross Country Championships tomorrow up in Hillsboro, hosted by Pacific at Killarney West Golf Course. Women start at 10 o'clock. Men, the race starts at 11. Coach, thanks for the time, and good luck right, tomorrow. Thank you.